All right, today I got this. All right, today I have this Makita 36 volt times two batteries, two 18 volts, 21 inch self-propelled lawn mower. Cutting width, 21 inch deck width, 23. Cutting height range is one inch to four inches. Back capacity, two bushels. The RPM speed on this is uh, 3,000 RPMs. It says it weighs 62 pounds, I believe it. Uh, Self-propel with variable speed, 1.5 miles to 3 miles per hour. And it did come with the... Five amp hour batteries. All right, here's some more of the information right here. One more specs. LXT times two 18 volt 36. 36 volt times two 21 inch self propelled lawnmower. Makita. All right, let's unbox this. a fast charger so that's like uh, 80 bucks if you buy one by itself Hardware, oh shit, knobs and things, and I guess that's for the bag. This looks like a battery block out, some kind of a nut driver, 17 millimeter it says. I don't know what this is, extension or something? Right. Another thing I don't know, two turn knobs. was uh, 500 bucks at Home Depot. Today is the 16th of May, 2024. It's like Thursday, I think. Yeah, Thursday. Because Chris is streaming tomorrow. She streams on Friday, by the way. Do they come charged? No, they do not come charged. They have, they have like a quarter of a charge on it. Per that. Instructions, instructions. And we're missing one thing. Oh, that's what I bet those are for. Yeah? This one. This does say that it stands upright. Alright, that's the bag. Here's another one of these things. What we did with that other one. Right here, screw thing, screw thing. This, this. Right, the bag. We don't really need a bag to mow lawn. So put that there. This off to the side. And I think I have two 5 amp hour batteries already charged, so let me go ahead and put this on the charger. Put these on the charger, and I'll grab the other 5 amp hour batteries.
Alright. And the bars. Bad. Hopefully the other two batteries are in here. Yeah? Okay, they are. They're in here. Are they charged though? That is the question. Let's see here. Nope. Quarter charged. Quarter charged. But they do give you four of them. So that's a positive. Let me go get the other one. Put these on the chargers. That's weird. My other one has a has a USB port on it, so you can charge stuff like that. Take all these in. I'll throw it back. All right, and I do have two full charged batteries, so we are good to go. Probably put those knobs on the outside, but I don't know. You put them on the inside. You probably go on the inside. I'll put them on the inside. Why not? Right. There we go. I'll pick the handles up. Does it look like it's all pointing the right direction? Yeah. All right. Set up. Is it complete? What do we do here? Two little knobs here for something. Do I pull them out? Yep. Okay, those pop. Pop. Alright. Go. There we go. Alright. Let's look underneath it. Shall we? Look underneath. Do we need to do anything here? Nope. This is self propelled, so I guess it's rear. Rear drive, yeah. Self-propelled rear drive right there. All right. And here is a height adjuster. So that's one, and then it goes all the way up to a number eight. That. That's for sure. I wonder if that red plug has to be in. That does roll nice. That does roll nice. Power button on the right left right hand side. Alright. What are we doing around here? I wonder if this thing has to be in. Let's see what's that say? Automated. This probably has to be in, I guess. Okay. Yep. On. Okay. Oh, shit, there it goes. Okay. Alright, the black bar is to make it move. This one, I think, is to start it. Okay, let me 
see. Let me pull that red thing out and see what it does. Is this skinny and ink? Is that light on? Okay. Now that red thing has to be in. That red thing has to be in. You have to be moving for it to start. Does that bag have to be on there? I don't think that bag would have to be on there. Let me see here. Watch out. Oh, uh, this plug. Does this plug have to be in here? This plug has to be in there. Oh, there it goes. densely tall yard yes does it sound like it's really cutting it down i don't know it is so quiet i don't even know if it's doing anything like i mean i know it's doing something because obviously you know it's not there anymore all right let's try it like this let's keep rolling red button in Let's drop this down. Let's drop this back down. Let's do it at three. Whatever number three is. That is ridiculously quiet. Ridiculously quiet.
Alright, red button in. I really do like this thing. It doesn't sling all the shit around in your eyes like a weed whacker does. So let's go ahead and mow this down over here.
right, well, whatever time that is now, that's exactly how long those batteries lasted. Not very long. So, I don't know, man. Uh, I'd really like to see this be like their 80 volt version, you know, like 80 volts coming out of here. So what time is that? What are we sitting at? It says like uh, nine, 27 minutes. Plus the unboxing, what, 15 minute run time? It's not very good. All right, all right, so these are three quarter charged. Uh, right there, and these are the ones that I put on at the beginning. So let's go ahead and put this in, see how much runtime we get. I'm gonna say that was like, what, 15 minutes of runtime? That's really not that great. Um, I don't know, man. If you, maybe if you have a small yard, and yeah, I get this thing. Just because it's a little, it's quiet. I mean, I like how quiet it is, but the runtime's kind of crap. Let me see. Could I put a longer battery on here? Yeah, maybe. I have two 12 amp hour batteries coming that are aftermarket, and I'll see if that extends the runtime. Press the button on, hold the red button in on the side. So that's what we're gonna do now is mow in front of let me show you what it looks like. Alright, so that's how tall my grass is. It's really tall. See that? That affects the solar production. So let's go ahead and get these this mode down.
still got a little bit of charge on there, but uh, it's getting dark. So this is, uh, that's how tall the grass was right there. Hopefully. And you can mow right up alongside it too. So that is fine. I should probably put these up on something. I did, since all of these are bifacial matched, self-matched panels, I wanted to, uh, instead of mounting them up on top of here permanently, I want to use these for like a solar tracker if I, if I can ever get one. Uh, maybe next Black Friday or something next year. I'll have to do it next year's project maybe. See how that works. I've seen some eco, ow, fuck. God damn it, there's fucking stickers in that. Got a sticker in here. Fuck. Probably a stinging nettle or some crap. Okay, anyways. Shit. Alright. Alright. So, I'm gonna call that good for today. I'm gonna go back in there and charge it. And by the way, that charger that comes with it is not a quick charge charger. So the only reason why I got three quarters on this other one was because, was because um, I had one from the Weed Whacker. If you ever watched that review, I can't remember how many years ago I got that, but that's what I'd been mowing my lawn with. Do I like this over the weed whacker? Well, no. No, I don't. I prefer my weed whacker. But I prefer this not slinging shit all over my face. And, all right, let's go ahead and get a... Let's go ahead and get a... What do you call it? Before the end of the sun. Thumbnail. Let's get a thumbnail, right? Before the end of the day, it's getting pretty dark. All right. Right there, right there. Maybe I can lighten it up a bit. I know I did this once and it really messed up the way the picture looked and I kind of made it overexposed. All right, thumbnail. All right, that's it. Makita 36 volt times two, self-propelled 21 inch cutting capacity. One more with four five amp hour batteries from Home Depot for 500 bucks plus tax, right? All right, that's it. Peace.